Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Thursday, January 14th. Uh, another monster day for the newsletter. Just picks left and right. I won't even go into them all. Uh, if I started talking about them, we'd actually run out of time in the video. It's been that good of a week. But uh, right now, let's jump into index charts. We're looking at the Dow 15-minute chart here. You can see we've continued to slowly move higher. We've been following the 20-day exponential up on the 15-minute time frame, and that support is at 10,700 right now. And wedge support is right there at the 10,600 area. If we look at the daily chart, you can see you know we just continue to edge higher since that breakout of the rectangle, and we finally did break through. Uh, that downtrend line on RSI so we should be looking for a move up here to above the 70 level which we have not seen in a long long time uh, biggest mover today uh, anticipation ahead of uh, Intel's earnings they came out after hours blew the numbers out of the water up their guidance just a fantastic report for Intel stock is up slightly granted it you know was pretty much baked into the pie here uh, especially after what happened uh, couple of days ago you'll remember the market sold off pretty steeply we had the SMH down on a downgrade and I came out and said that uh, that probably marked a bottom because analysts a downgrade at bottoms not at tops and here we have Intel coming out blowing their numbers out of the water and over the last two days a nice bounce in the SMH so you know analysts are morons but they are useful if you use them as a contrarian indicator if they tell you to buy something it's usually a good idea to sell and vice versa if they tell you to sell usually a good idea to start buying but uh, let's jump into stock plays D-I-S-K uh, this is a stock we've been pretty high on for the last couple of weeks uh, we tagged this down at the 21 cent area back there in late December uh, the merger uh, or financing finally got approved this week nice nice chart set up here uh, we had a break out through the 20-day exponential we hit our first target of the 38 percent fib retracement uh, we're looking for a move to the 50-day moving average here that's at the 49.50 cent area RSI breaking up through 50 uh, positive ADX cross stochastics up through 50 and then unbounced volume you can just see they've been pouring into this stock now in after hours there was a, a Nasdaq uh, filing for DISC or for DISC. Uh, they're not too happy about the financing arrangement it did. Not uncommon in these kind of situations. Not something I would really worry about. The company will resolve it. They paid off uh, a chunk of their debt yesterday as well. So these guys are highly motivated and it's just a matter of tweaking how the financing is. And some of the things were related to directors easy easy fixes in my opinion great chart set up I mean we have RHIE which is debt ridden 600 million dollars in debt up massively in the last couple of days and here we have DISK it tanked from the 70 cent area on chapter 11 worries those worries are gone back to this area we go uh, looks like a gem uh, would be looking to add dips under the 20 day exponential at 32 cents but very very nice chart set up here RPC, another stock we've been pretty uh, high on here. We had a nice little pop on this one today. Retrace late in the day, but uh, medical equipment stocks have just absolutely been on fire. DYNT, CRDC up 50, 75% today. We actually jumped into PDEX in the chat room. That ended up being a 20 plus percent play. RPC does the same thing. Uh, medical equipment stock, uh, it's cheap here. Those stocks have been on fire. Remember, these guys also have a China division that they're looking to sell worth $20 million and its market cap is 5 Very strong support at the 20-day exponential here at $0.28, cents and definitely one that should see continued momentum over the next couple of days. Uh, CXM, this is a stock that we got a 50% pop out of uh, going into uh, the first or the end of December as a January popper. Has retraced nicely here, and like I mentioned in the chat room and in the alert, many of our biotech plays that we jumped on there in December are now starting to break out to new highs. And this one is definitely a January popper candidate. We had a nice little pop on heavy volume today, over 70 cents. Uh, we actually broke through the 74 cents. Actually, did we? Uh, yeah, briefly, but uh, we'd be looking for a close over 74 cents to confirm and then really no resistance to the $92 uh, 
uh, area on this one with stops now at the 20 day exponential that is at 62 cents but you can see a nice uptrend in RSI uh, very very strong ADX here and that uh, looks very good for the near term especially with biotechs continuing to run they've got cash they did their financing already and lots of lots of upside here on this chart in my opinion KAD uh, another uh, Late December play, nice setup here. Has had very nice volume. We had that spike to 74 cents the other day. Retraced over the last couple of days and looks ready to bust out again here. A break through the 200-day moving average at 65 cents. Lights this rocket up. RSI looks great. Volume has been very nice over the last couple of days. ADX remains strong. And as you can see, we've got that uh, bounce back on stochastics right at the 50 level which is very very good and something we like to see on stocks that run retrace and then run again DARA similar theme uh, biotech stock we got a nice run out of a couple of weeks ago nice breakout here on this one today uh, really gets going on a break of 60 cents and this is the company that owns shares in an IPO that's upcoming and very nice chart support here stops at 50 cents and target here 65 to 75 cents uh, depending on what news comes ZHNE uh, an old favorite of ours finally broke out today at 60 cents they were at the Needham conference yesterday and in it the company said that they expect to uh, be profitable this upcoming quarter which is uh, looks like they're gonna beat and very nice volume on this one uh, profitable uh, tech play in a sector that's red hot right now and its peers ACLS etc etc are just up huge over the last couple of months uh, looks pretty good here with stops at 55 cents targets 70 and 75 cents on this one and uh, one that really could motor on tech strength tomorrow our uh, other biotech play LJPC traded as high as 26 cents it's been treading water here in the 20 22 cent area uh, biotech should continue to move and this one is just a matter of waiting on news with stops at 19 cents and again uh, we're looking for a move at least to the 30 cent area here especially if biotech momentum continues and no reason why it shouldn't chart looks really really good here and we're just going to continue to ride this one higher uh, quick mention on ASTM have I mentioned how I hate this stock after hours they come out uh, stock is down but uh, really it's kind of silly in my opinion a uh, company came out and said that they will look they're proposing to sell shares in the future uh, and for some reason traders ran for the hills down five cents after hours uh, these guys have 17 million cash they don't need the cash right now they're probably posturing for a news run this chart has been saying that news is coming very very soon so would be looking for a spike to the 40 to 50 cent area before they even consider selling any shares here so I think the after hour selling is kinda silly and we should see a bounce back on this one tomorrow but I really hate this stock never does what it's supposed to so that's uh, pretty much it for the video I won't bother going into all our monster plays you know which ones they are and uh, you know we've had a very good week and should continue tomorrow don't forget uh, market is closed on Monday so we're gonna have a long weekend and any spikes tomorrow uh, it goes without saying any big spikes on plays be booking gains on these uh, even if they're just partial gains put some money in your pocket you can always rebuy dips and then or add back if they continue to pop but uh, tomorrow should be a good day for DISK RPC uh, CXM and KAD looking for some big moves on these ones tomorrow and that's it for the video see you guys in the chat room tomorrow goodbye